So now we have the last law that is the Avogadro law. This law was given by Avogadro as the name suggests, as the name of the law suggests, and it was given in 1811. This law actually states that equal volume of gases. Again, this law is obeyed only by the gases, and it says that if the volume of the gases are equal, equal volume of gases at same condition of temperature and pressure. Again, like in the Gelusik's law, it was there that we should have the same condition of temperature and pressure. The same thing is here that we need the same condition of temperature and pressure. And it states that the equal volume of gases, gases at same condition of temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. Like if I take an example, suppose I talk of H2 gas, N2 gas, O2 gas. So if the volume of these gases are same, if the volume of let's say its volume is V, again it's, it is V, it is V. So if the volume of different gases also, if, if, if it is same, then they have the same number of molecules. Or we can do this law in this case also that uh, like for example, if we talk about one mole of ideal gas, one mole specifies a Gedro number that is 6.023 into 10 raised to power 6.022 into 10 to power 23. So that means 6.022 into 10 to power 23 molecules possess the same volume and at STP condition that means a standard condition of temperature and pressure, it possess the volume equal to 22.4 liters. So this is what this law states that irrespective of the nature of the gas, if, it, if the volume of the gas is same, then obviously if the conditions of temperature and pressure are same, then it is going to possess the same number of molecules. Or we can say same number of molecules of different gases occupy the same volume. As we saw that one mole of ideal gas at STP condition occupy volume equal to 22.4 liter. So that means it is irrespective of the nature of the gas, whether it is O2, N2 or H2, to, we are just talking of the volume, we are relating the volume and the number of the molecules. So this is what is the Avogadro law.